Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today I want to talk about the Baikal Giant N. I think that they are now only sold because of the upcoming hard forks and I want to explain why. So before starting I have to state that I have love for the older machines of Baikal. I still have some of them running like you can see in the b-roll and I especially love the little ones and I can only argue that I've greatly profited from them back when my mining farm looked more like this. But the point I want to make today is that mining can often be a very shady game too. What I mean is that manufacturers often have their machines on the network for unknown amount of times before us, the public, even knows the machines exist. Sometime later the machines are sold to us and the cycle begins anew. This rumor was around back when I had my first Antminer S1, but back then I had no idea what I was doing or how to check the machines. But the fact becomes very evident if you have ever seen a shipment of new Baikal units which are definitely not new when you get them. How does that connect to the Baikal M? Well, we've already seen some spikes in the kryptonite hash rate on Monero and we can assume that these were the times when the first Baikal N went on the network. The talks about Monero forking for ASIC resistance have been around before any ASIC was announced, so now is actually the perfect time for Baikal to send their units to the public. It's win-win for them since they have already profited once. I'm not hating on the people who ordered the machines. If there was no minimum order quantity I would have ordered one for this channel in order to take a look and experiment, but we just cannot know how the kryptonite landscape will look in the coming weeks, months and years. And even though a lot of projects beside Monero are now talking about forking. As a person who uses ASICs, I cannot hate on them, nor will I, but I want people to be careful about some of the business practices out there. I do think that we will see more specified ASICs simply because these are very experimental times and it's impossible to predict the future. So this was just a little opinion piece today about the mining landscape and why I think the Baikal ends are sold around now. If you have another opinion on the topic, please share in the comments and we will be returning to you with our regular mining content on Tuesday. Thank you very much. <laughs>